DHCP. In the process of configuring DHCP, I will explain what DHCP is. So let me first of all configure DHCP. So to configure DHCP, I go to tools, I go to DHCP, So when you have this kind of issue, updates required, what do you do? Yeah, that's a good question for you. Somebody answer. Get update. How do I, okay. Get update. So what do I need to do to get update? You click it. Yes. <laughs> I mean. You need, it. you need internet access. Correct, I need internet access. Yeah, internet, internet access. Yeah, so internet. The, the other way to frame the question. Not. Correct, okay, that's where I was going. So the other way to frame this question is, uh, when would you ever need, what do you ever need to configure your, to, at what point would you ever need to configure now so that you can browse? What do you need browsing for when you can browse on your host? Yeah, okay. So that's another way to ask this question. Do you get what I'm, I'm, yes. what yes. I'm trying to pass across? Yeah. So it could be uh, why, why are you why are you bothered about connecting your VM to to internet? You don't need it, but you do need it when you need to update. So that brings oh, it now. Yeah. All right, good. Well, I'm not ready for updating. So you just keep quiet. All right, so this is DNS. Well, it's dangerous. This is a DHCP server. So to configure DHCP server for the person that has the question and for all. I see. I wanted to get that manual already, so I don't. It doesn't happen like it happened yesterday. All right. So generally, I know what I'm looking for. So even if I don't click the right place the first time, I will just keep looking until I find what I'm looking for. All right. So this is DHCP server. Everything I'm looking for is within here. I don't really need to, need to know exactly what to click. All right, in this case, I have IP version four, IP version six. IP version four is the kind of IP addresses we are talking about that we assign right here. When we talk about four octets, the first three octets being for the network and the last one being for the host. That's for a class C network. IP version six, don't bother about it. It's too complex for you to understand. However, you should note, as a network person, as somebody, as an admin person, that it is because the number of IP version four available to the whole world to use is uh, depleting, is reducing, is 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 finishing. That is why they came up with IP version six, so that we will not run out of IP addresses to assign to public uh, uh, systems. So IP version six is complex and can and has unique number as you un, as many unique number of ip addresses as the number of stands green grains of stand you would have in the whole of lagos state so what does that tell you it's inexhaustible we will not have the problem we're ha we're having now or we're tending to have with ip version 6 we're not going to have it with ip version ip version 4 we're not going to have it with IP version 6. So IP version 4 is more human friendly. It's the kind of IP addresses we use now. Only big companies that have fully understood IP version 6, like Amazon, like cloud, use IP version 6. So for human consumption at your level, do not worry about IP version 6. In fact, you can disable it if you. No, don't disable it. Because the, the network you are locking into might be assigning you IP version 6 so don't disable it but focus on ip version 4 all right so i told you ip addressing is big that will be taken in bit by bit as we progress so i've taught you something new on ip addressing so our focus is on ip version 4 what are we doing with ip version 4 uh, server options policies filters all right if we right click there we see configure options and then if we right click there, we see policies. New policy, deactivate. No, it's not about policy right now. All right. So 
uh, server options, configure options. Mm. No, sorry. Again, I already told you, I, do, I know what I'm looking for. So just bear with me if, I'm, if I click the first place, second place, and it's not there, I will eventually get it. So what I'm looking for is here actually, IP version four. So I say new scope, and then this wizard comes off. I say new, okay? Uh, scope name, give the name to this, uh, not domain now, huh? the name of the DNS services you want to configure on this domain. Just give it any name. Maybe we'll give it a different name to differentiate it from the name of the domain. We can call it a DHCP. As to what names to give, your, the company you are working for will have a, will have a, a pattern of giving names. So you will learn that from the company. You will say anytime you are giving a server name, give it the name of the service it does, the dot the location of the server dot something dot something. So you'd always get that from the convention that the company adopts. But for now, let's just call this DHCP what? Or COVID. Or DHCP server. DHCP one. What's that? DCP one or something, or DCP server. Description, if you need the description. This is not important, it's just for labeling purpose. Now, this is where it gets important. Now, you know that DHCP automatically assign IP addresses to systems under its scope, under the domain that it controls. Where is it going to get that IP address in from? It's going to get that IP addresses that it automatic that it assigns from from this scope that you are defining so you are saying that you can assign all ip addresses between the number one now do you remember the ip address of this server yes so whatever ip address range you are defining that current ip address must fall in must be falling within so give me the what the network i network uh, ip for this uh the network IP address for this domain. Huh? Two five four. Two five four. One nine two. One nine two. Where did you get two five? One nine two. One nine two two five four. One nine two two five four. Oh, 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 you mean after that? Hundred ten. They should have said dot. Uh -huh. Dot. Uh -huh. Two five four. Five four. Dot. Hundred. Dot ten. Dot ten. All right, somebody's not talking. So that person got to try. The people that said dot 10, you missed it. This is the network ID. I asked for the network ID. This is the network path. Okay. Uh, Oluwachi, you stop interrupting like we were doing yesterday. If you want to talk, let us don't uh, interrupt when people are talking. All right. So this is the uh, network ID path of the entire IP address. The common question, CCNA, network, everything. What's the network ID part? Did you get that? So the host part, by the time I add the host partner, then it becomes a full IP address. So the, the, start, the, the start address, you can start with a one. So there I put a dot one. Okay. Okay, I move the keyboard a mouse away. Dot one, right? All right, and then the end IP address yourself in your background. Uh, end IP address will be what 192.254.100.1253. The, the IP addresses will reach the host. IP address for people who don't know, I see that some of you know. The host IP address, the host IP can range from anything between one and a maximum of 255. That's the convention. How did we get that? It's mathematics. I don't want to bother you about that. But I could bother you if you want, especially by the time we get to talk. Uh, so the maximum number I can have assigned to a host is 255. 
But even that 255 is reserved. It's not assigned to host. It is reserved for broadcasting, for a host to be able to tell every other host. Somebody was talking yesterday about uh, something, I can't remember, that required broadcast. So anytime you want to talk to all machines on the domain, the IP address that you call to do it is the network ID plus, I mean, uh, and the host 255. So because that one is already used, we don't use it. So the closest one after that would be 254. Okay. The length, eh, don't worry about it, just leave it as it is. Okay. Again, it's a higher level explanation of what we have done here. Okay. And then the uh, subject mask. When you have the first one, two, three octets of an IP address representing the network ID, then you see the subnet mask is 255.255.255. And when you can use anything between zero, between one and two, five, four for the host, you see it's zero. So, so the subnet mask that automatically comes up with this IP address is 255.255.255.0, meaning that this is a class C IP address where I don't have any bit left on the first octet to assign to host. It's fully assigned to network. I don't have any bit left on the second octet. I don't have any B because it's fully utilized at the maximum. But I have this, the full range of bits to play around with on the host part. That's the meaning. And that's what we've done here. We said this is constant. Another way to say, to say it is these three are constant. Only this last one is variable. Variable between one and two, five. So that's DHCP. Now it's making sense, the thing we're explaining here. Next. Add exclusion and delay. So this means that if any system comes to the network and that system is connected to my Wi-Fi or to my network, connected to my Wi-Fi or you take my cable, any cable on my network from the switch and you plug into your system, to your laptop, then my DHCP will automatically assign an IP address automatically without you knowing to that system from the range that I had defined. So what about the, there are cases where I need to assign static IP addresses, definitely. For example, my domain controller, it has to be an IP, static IP address. You know my DHCP server, where did it get the server that it assigned itself? I had to assign the stat static IP address first before configuring this. What about my router? Where am I going to get? So I need to define to see, even though you are assigning all like IP addresses, reserve these ones. These are the ones I want to use to assign to uh, devices that will be static on the network. For example, my network printer should have a static IP address. I don't want you trying to connect to the printer today with one IP address. By the time you reboot and start tomorrow, it's a different IP address. No. My router, anytime the internet, the uh, computer wants to browse and it's looking for the gateway, my gateway must have a static IP address. So I need to reserve those IP addresses that I want to use statically. This is where I define it. So I, I say reserve this one. IP addresses from 192.254.1. One hundred dot ten up to one nine two dot dot two five two five four four dot dot one hundred dot um, any baby. Then I say add. So what have I done? I have reserved this IP address. Therefore, when the DCP is assigning IP addresses, it will not use any of this one. What will I then use this one for? I can take from here to assign to devices device. on my network that require static IP address. Get it? Yes, sir. Okay, so when an IP address is assigned to a device, for how long is that IP address lived to that device? For eight days, by default, or you want to reduce it? I don't have many IP addresses to. I don't want uh, people to come to my cyber cafe or my network, my system, uh, my DCP assigns IP address to them. And then they, 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 after they leave, they use it for only for a few hours. And after they leave, they, 
they seize my IP address and make it unavailable for, because the system knows that that IP address has been assigned, it's not available to assign to somebody else. So, yeah, then, so if you work in that kind of environment, you want to reduce this to even a few hours or a one day or 24 hours. But if you work in an environment where the systems are always on, nobody lives here, I don't want to, you know, I want the IP address to last as long as possible because you are going to stay here for the next uh, three months anyway. Then I could leave it at default or increase it. But normally you don't really, I'm just explaining it so that you understand that uh, the professional that you are becoming, not just, not really because you need to change it. So that's what happens here. So I just leave it at default. And then I say DACP options. Yes, I want to configure DACP options. All right. So here, we are done with DACP configuration. But here is the additional configuration that allows you to take from that IP address, those IP ad that IP address range that you reserved. You cannot take from there and begin to assign to, for example, I can say for my router, which also, my router also happens to be my default gateway. I don't need to explain that if you understand what a router is, what a gateway is. Oh, well, yeah, I think I explained that. So uh, I can now say, of course, my router, you are coming to the, my network. My router is the man at the gate that you, you meet first before you come in. So it's the, it's the man that takes the number one IP address because we are looking at network from you are coming in. So I want you to reserve the IP address 192.254.100.1. One. Dot one. But I did not reserve this one. This, this one will be dynamically assigned. I didn't reserve it. So even if I assign the if I assign, 10. So it has to be something that I reserved the 10. Oh, yes. We did 10. From 20. 11, 10 to yes. 20. 20. Yes. But again, if you are saying that it should have been one, you are right. Because it's just for logical purposes. It's not that this, it's not, it's not like this will not work. This will work. Whatever IP address you assign will work. Well, for somebody who really, who really understands how this thing works, that ideally, dot one should be the IP address that you assign to your gateway. But for learning purposes, let's not go back. Let's just leave. When you are configuring your, you can reserve dot one to ten, and you can start to assign dot uh, twenty, dot uh, eleven and above. So I had that I reserve that for what? For that no, okay. All right. All right. Anything else I want to ask? Uh, reserve IP address. Uh, my domain name server, that's another server, another device on the network, another server that requires a static IP address. So, uh, incidentally, it has found out by itself that a DHCP is already configured. I mean, uh, a DNS is already configured, all right? And it's with these addresses. Uh, but we already assigned this to, so we are wrong. Let's go back and okay. change. And change what we assign here. All right, we'll remove it to 11 or something. I mean, it's better like that. Even though we know that it is the same server right now that is acting as both DCP and DNS. Let's see. Let's be something. Let's be something. Or better still, for our purpose, it is coincidental that we are assigning the same IP address to both the, the DACP and the DNS because just one system that performs both functions. Do you get that? No. Yes. So for this particular configuration that we are doing, our we have only one server, yeah. and that server is our DHCP server and our DNS server, and even our domain controller. So it is one IP address per server, not one IP address per service, one IP address per computer. So what is the IP address of the computer that does our DHCP? Yeah. From this work that's this. one night two. That's one night two dot two five four. 
dot one hundred dot one zero dot one zero right yes. yes correct that is for what for which uh, service dhcp that's for the dhcp All right so what's the ip address of the machine that does our dns on this our domain I think it's still the same. It's still the same. Same, same IP address. It's still the same thing. It's the same thing. The same IP address. That's yeah, what I'm same saying. Same IP address. That's exactly what I'm saying. That for this experiment, for this configuration we are doing, IP address for DECP is the same as IP address for DNS. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Okay. So now that you understand what I'm saying, this my level is wrong for this purpose. It's still because it's the same machine that is doing all of this, the router, the, all of this. Mm, the router, okay. the DCP, the DNS. We don't have multiple machines. By the time we begin to configure multiple machines, we can begin to assign them different IP address. All right, so let's leave that as it is. And then what's this? Wins. We don't need Wins. Wins is a old fashion legacy. And then do you want to activate your scope now? Of course, activate my scope, yes. And then finish. So this is how to configure DCP. I've configured the DHCP server. I mean, basically within Windows. By the time you get to Linux, it might be a bit more. Or basically, you have configured the DHCP server for Windows. What do you do? You just define your scope. That's all. Define scope. You have to reserve IP address it to your presence. So this DHCP that you have is, that you have configured now, in the process of configuration, I've explained to you what it does. So that answers your question. Somebody, the person who asks, what does, what do DACP servers do and why do we need them? So do you understand what they do now? Hmm? Assign IP. Assigning IP address. All right, so that's how to configure DACP. Any questions? All right, no question. So let's go. Let's also go and configure DNS. All right, so if you look here now, you'll find that, uh, you look at the options. Uh, you can refresh if what you are looking for. And you can see the pool that we define. The pool, the scope that we define, you can see them here. From this to this, and then we'll reserve from here to here. IP address list. That's the major place we define. We didn't really change any of that. Scope options. We assign the the we assign this if you remember. DNS server mm -hmm. and the DNS domain name. Mm -hmm. DNS and the uh, we actually saw that it was you already assumed some figures. No, you already picked the actual figures from the configuration, so we just left it. All right, so that's how to configure. Of course, like I always advise, play around and uh, see what these other things offer. You don't have to know them because they are just learning. You don't have to know everything from the world. But just know that uh, you need to do more than you have done. The tools are there. But what you need to do basically is what we have done. All right, so we are done with uh, ESC. What about DNS? How do we configure DNS server? This one is already DNS server. We don't really have to. It's already DNS server. There's no special configuration for DNS server, but I'll show you something. The next thing I want to show you is uh, what if we want to separate the DHCP function from this server, set up another server. Huh? That would require me to set up another. Okay, this, this, this is what I mean. Right now, our server is the domain controller for DHCP and DNS, right? Yes. What if we want yes. to, to set up a dedicated DHCP server and separate the function from the domain controller machine? We can do it. That means we need to create a new virtual mm -hmm. machine. Yes, a new virtual machine. New virtual and machine. Then the virtual machine would now be what? Um, 
Let me see. <laughs> All right. So. so what happened to the one we clone? Uh, okay, you want to, you need us to use that? Yeah, we can reclone it because I reclone my again, like reclone, reclone. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course we can reclone. So you are saying instead of going through all the steps of creating a fresh brain, we can just Yeah, yes, one. sir. Okay. I'm just not in the mood. Why? What's, what's brain? Is it because you guys are now? Let me try. Let me force myself. All right. So, what's our, can you see my VM virtual bus manager? Yes. What's my clone here? Domain controller yeah. clone. Yeah. Did you, did, you, did you do that here in this class? Is this for you? Yes. There's another one here. This is a clone of this clone. Um, check the date. The check clone the date of that date. clone. It's not about the, clone. about did I clone this for your class or was it for a different class? So you cloned clones. one, DS5. Where is it? Where is I it? Think, DS5 but clone. Like, okay, you deleted you it. Clone. Clone. Hmm? We, did, we did snapshots. We cloned that day. He no, deleted wait. the clone. He removed it. It's like he removed oh, okay. it. Okay, I deleted the clone. He removed it. Yes. All right. So let's let's uh, let's close another one. The main controller clone. I mean, let's clone this. So to clone, what do we do? Right. The clone of clone. All right, so take snapshot properties clone, clone. And, and call it. Uh, I'm not even sure what's in there. Uh, domain controller, what uh, secondary domain controller, secondary domain controller, or domain controller. True. And then here, mm -hmm. here I want to say, mm -hmm. uh, mute yourself. Mute yourself. So here I want to say, uh, include all NAT configuration, all NAT uh, network adapter MAC addresses. No generate new mac addresses because it's going to be a, i think i explained this it's going to be a brand new machine don't don't just make a copy of that all right then i say next full clone mm, yes full clone it let's is. replicate that machine all right so this is much faster than creating a new vm loading your operating system and so on and so forth so this is the beauty of uh, working with virtual machines you are working with really hardware computers physical computers, then there's no shortcut. You have to go and buy a new server. All right, so what I want to show you with this is to show you, is to see if we can uh, create so, a backup domain. Sorry, sorry. I want to ask a secondary sorry. domain controller. And then use that secondary domain controller to also set up a secondary DHCP server. No, it's actually for domain controller, it's called uh, secondary. But for DHCP server, we we'll call it backup DHCP, DHCP server and then uh, backup DNS server. These are interview questions. Can you create a backup for our DNS server so that if anything happens to the primary DNS server, we can still continue in business and not lose everything? So we'll use this second domain controller now to try and create backups. All right, your question now. Sir, I want to ask, this other virtual machine that we are cloning, will it affect our RAM? Yes. Okay. All right, questions? Questions. All right, so the machine is still cloning. Let's go and see how it's cloning. Oh. Okay. So it's still got a long way to go.
So, uh, by the time I teach you this, we should be done with. Uh, we should be done with. Uh, I originally planned four weeks, but looks like we'll be true after one more lecture. If we're able to complete what I what I intend to show you today, then we'll just have one more lecture on how to share how to share files, how to share resources with users, with groups, and then that'll be it. That will be it. Then uh, you can have uh, next week to practice so that I'll still be available for you next week. So rather than taking new subjects and learning something new, you just bring in the challenges that you have. And we'll just trash them. We explain, like revision, explain what you are supposed to have known with, uh, by what we have done so far. And then we we'll have covered at least uh, the basics. And even up, actually up to the intermediate level of Windows Server Administration. Windows Server Administration. And after that? And then after that, uh, I'll release you. You can go into the world and uh, go and see what you can do there. So for some persons, one or two more weeks of additional practice, you should be fit for the kind of job, let me see those faces again. Simple network administration jobs. I don't know where Anne works, but for her, her kind of role. You want to share with us where you, your job experience Anne, so that people can learn and see um, what you can do with it. Okay, I do, I worked previously in the bank, but right now I went back to school. What, okay. The school is private. Yeah, I want to go and finish my computer science um, degree. I want to get a computer science degree. So, so where are you learning uh, your computer from? Sir? How did you learn to go to use the Windows uh, server, to administer Windows server? Safe practice, sir. Safe practice? Yes, sir. I go How? online. Yeah. Where, where do you use online? I do YouTube and Google a lot. You are not paying for uh, training? Sir? You are not paying anybody for training. You just... No, sir. You just do YouTube and Google? Yes, sir. Ah, you don't pay for training now. So that you can save effort. Anyway, that's fine. Then uh, who else? Who else wants to share with us? So somebody's asking, what after this training? What else? So we're trying to learn from people on the feet to see, okay. This is what you could do. But broadly speaking, you begin to look out for opportunities with what you have learned. And then some people will find out, well, that is a good background, but it's not much. I need to learn on top of this to be able to get the kind of job that I, that I want, that I really, because you're going to find, ah, this, uh, you know, like somebody was talking about, uh, talking about yesterday, about uh, finding that, he needs networking experience for some network administra administ administrator position. So you could find out, ah, no, I need networking or something. So that will not drive you in the direction of, okay, I need to do this to move on. As much as it may appear that you have learned, this is only the basic. And, then, and of course, if one or two persons may want to come along with me and say, okay, I need to get more from what you have. Then you can join me as intern. Go to my Instagram page where you got this information to come here. And then you can join me as intern. And then again, I'll take you from scratch and then begin to build you until after six months. That will last for six months to become very professional. I don't want to discuss that here. I don't want to discuss anything money here. This is completely free. I'm not mentioning money. But with what you get from this, see what you can do for yourself. If you now feel that you still need me to continue, then come and join my internship program. Uh, is, is, it just, is it just chatting? The internship? Yes. Yeah. In fact, I have just started. I just started to advertise it today. Uh, oh, okay, because it's I saw take it. It's going to take time to, yeah, I saw it to gather people, yeah. So, the internship, I will now take you, mentor you, as if you don't do anything. I'll just take you from scratch and use you gradually. But for this, this 
it just depends on your background, where you are coming from. I, I, for the short time I'm saying, for somebody, this is wow, I yeah. have something, let me go into the world. For somebody else, this is just the basics, I need more than this. For another person, uh, well, you just whet my appetite on IT, let me take my time and go and think and decide, oh, this is what I do want to do. For somebody, ah, this is too difficult, I don't want to pursue this at all. I don't, I don't, I'm not understanding what he's saying. So it just depends on where you find yourself. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, um, I really appreciate God in your life, sir. And, mm -hmm. uh, I also thank God for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Honestly, to be sincere, you have given us so much. I don't know if there will be time to just, I don't know, maybe section to just relate and um, generally on the platform. You've given us so much. I have to be sincere because I have done training with TTC. Um, like an extension um, training center at Ogba. Oh, and really? That has, wow. Yes, uh, yeah, at Ogba. Mm -hmm. We talked about Ogba. I, we talked about yes. And, sir, the little information I have that time, honestly, it was, it was, it was so good for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. As I'm talking now, I feel like crying. Ah, no, because no, no. why? Don't cry. No, sir, you are I know what I'm saying, <laughs> sir, sir. Sir, I know what I'm saying. Let me start mm. like this. Mm. I was in former electronic bank. I didn't get it, Mister. With my, I have technical electrical knowledge. You know, through I passed through the interview when IT was becoming like talk of everywhere. I switched over to IT. With that little training, I was the best in that training. As I did, wow. training, we did a training, and I was the best in that class. Wow. I'm drawing a talking, okay, how do you protect this inverter? Who was your trainer then? Yes, was know. it Raymond or? Who was your trainer? At Oba. Mm. I, I can't remember, there were young guys like this, but it was actually connected back to Mark. There were young guys that would come, it was weekend, because it was where I was, I was working. But to cut the long story short, mm. what you're giving us is, is I, I know what I'm saying. I was in former training bank, I was in software testing and application support. Okay. I was in clearing, and at the same time, I was doing supporting. I was doing support. I was supporting, supporting over 15 applications. Wow. Creating users and all that. I know what you are giving to us. Mm -hmm. They will bring a star out away from the north. I will contract this job out for just to, for them to load. And I know how much the bank is paying. Wow. Wow. Are you getting wow. me, sir? Mm -hmm. What you have given us is storage for those that I don't want to, I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to quantify what you have given us to me. Let me just say one or two things before I go further. If there is a way we can, if, for someone like me, for this training, if it is to get a certificate, I don't mind paying for it because it's a proof that I've also learned from a place. So, because this is the reason I have to configure a network in a CBT center recently. And I look at myself, I see myself, I've not done training for so long. When I needed to upgrade my server time was when the banking issue started, and I had to. Yeah, I, yeah, to yeah. I, I, I understand. Yeah. I, I see your emotions and all so that. So what you are giving to me has empowered yeah. me so much. Mm -hmm. so I, I would like to know with what you are giving me today. Even in Chevron, I can face them. I just need to go back and read more. Yes, I know what that's, I'm saying. That's the idea. I know. That's just the idea. I the know. idea is to inspire you, saying. give you this, show you that this thing is possible, so that you don't face that boldness to the world. And let them see your your IT light. Wow, where do you go? So I'm happy that I have a good ambassador in you, and I'm happy that uh, that was my high days. You know, uh, for people who don't know, even though I'm going to share that later. Back in Nigeria, I started this TC company in 2003, like I'm trying to. Do. And then at about uh, 2009 2010 we're the number one training uh, telecom training company that yes or that's like what we where they deal with corporate work for as a company that you walk into and say i want to do training and they will train you and then we had calls from different uh our trainees were being absorbed as fast as we were we were giving them so it is that uh, that capacity that I have moved from telecom training now to IT training because telecom training was a thing in vogue at that time. What's in vogue now is not just IT training but cloud. So it is with that enthusiasm 
and in thousands, hundreds, let me not exaggerate by saying thousands, hundreds of my trainees over the period of uh, 2003 to 2010, they are still doing very well everywhere in Nigeria, in the UK, even in the US here. So I'm not blowing my trumpet. It's just because uh, Olafu Komi raised me. So what I'm just bringing out from all of this, is this is value. This is what people pay money, good money yes. to get. So don't just say because it's free, you take it for granted. It will change if you if you if you if you appreciate it, you can change you can change something about it. it may not be a good a good foundation on which better and higher things will come. Because I I also know I know and I'm, I appreciate that somebody on your behalf knows this. So yeah. even though we're just yeah. giving twenty minutes, thirty minutes, forty minutes, these are experiences that took seven years, fifteen years, twenty years to gather. So it's value, it's value. So if you are going from here, like most of you will be doing, no strings attached. Don't feel guilty or anything. This is free of charge. So go do well. If you have to pray for you, I pray for you. Just make sure your light shines out there. But if you feel, oh, I need more, I, I want to learn more than just this basis, then feel free to join my Instagram and see what we can do together from that point. So that's uh, the answer to your question as to after this training, what happens then? That's what happens then. There are bigger courses like units and these things. Of course, I cannot discuss the opportunities here because what you have learned is there. There are opportunities. There are opportunities. I'm sure locally there are opportunities and even as long as, as far as it's IT, even globally, there are more opportunities. And of course, you know where the world is going now. You know that yes, the sir. world is going the direction where very soon, even in Nigeria, as bad as it is in Nigeria, people will begin to outsource uh, jobs and say, oh, you can log in from Nigeria. Why not? You can do this job. Or the way I am going now, you know, up to now, because of the, 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 the reputation I had with my minority community, up to now, I'm still outsourcing in Nigeria. I would have left Nigeria like how many years ago? I'm still, uh, uh, one of them was on this platform. I'm still outsourcing for, so I could get that kind of outsourcing job here too for IT, and that's what I'm looking for with federal. I mean, I don't want to go into all that so that it doesn't look like I'm weighing you. But the point is, I'm making is that a phone call could just be all you need based on this platform, on this uh, foundation that you have to get you to begin to make money from what you know. That's, that's the point I'm making. That's just the point I'm making because. People, companies are looking for experts in IT all the time. Companies, there's no discrimination. Just show that you can do the job. If Indians can do it, then why can't we do it? Just show that you can do the job. Ask you questions, ask you questions. It's when you don't, when you don't know the job, that's when you say, don't mind that they are racist. Now, like, there's no racist. If you can do it, they will, even if you are, what is worse than, what's the worst risk? They will give you the job. They, they need value. Just add value to, to them and they will pay you for it. And these days, it's becoming more and more remote. Irrespective of, remote means that irrespective of where you are, you can do it from there. You don't have to get visa to come, go to that country. And then if you now need you real bad to come, what is H1B? It's just now that, uh, that uh, this administration is, it doesn't take anything to get. If they need you, they give you H1B, you come and join them. Two years, three years, or seven days, you are free. And it's still going on in Europe. But what are you presenting? What are you bringing to the table? So that's why I'm giving you this. So that at least you have something to say, I do have a foundation. I don't know. Oh, you understand that? Oh, fine. Okay, we can take it from there. We can train you. That is not common to see somebody who can, not these days, because there are so many certifications, so many IT professionals. They want ready-made people. Can you do this? Yes. Can you do this? Yes. What experience did you have? Uh, somebody was doing this and I helped him do it. Oh, good. Come on board. That's it. The only thing that will take time is uh, trying to do your verification, background check. Otherwise, Right at that interview, you already have your job. And it's because I know that these opportunities exist. That was why I went to pick the relevant skills that you need to be able to explore those opportunities. So it's not for fun. It's not for, it's not for, it's, it's, it's serious. So hopefully you see it from that perspective, like Olasu Komi is trying to make us see. And then uh, this uh, basic training take you to higher places. All right, so that's it. 
Let's go back to class. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate that. All right. So somebody's joining us. Let's admit them. Where were we? Where were we? You remember that English? Cloning. Cloning. Yeah, cloning right? We are cloning the um, backup. What do, what do we call it? This is true. Okay, this is right. true. Yes. All right. Yes. So, okay. So there you go. So we're running our DC2. Now let us back up. Let us make this DC2 our secondary domain controller. At this point, I'll have to call up the manual so that I don't. Uh, I'll copy that manual for you. I'll copy this part mm. of the manual for you. Thank you, sir. We need to configure. You know exactly what it is. Don't mind the. There is nobody that knows this thing off. The people that you feel they are doing it on uh, YouTube and they are not, it's because this is live. That one is not live. So if somebody tells you, I know all, I know so many things. So it's not only Windows that I'll put on me, in my head and remember everything about Windows. So don't be afraid to look at manual to say, ah, I forgot this, quickly go to Google, get the, don't be afraid. There are tools that are available for your use. If you don't use them, you are cheating yourself. So if I can use them, if I can forget, and but of course you know that after you use them for a couple of times, they will stick. So if if I if you haven't used them for a while and you need to refer to manual, to books, to Google, to anything, even to YouTube, go ahead. Don't be deceived that other people are not using them. They are using them. It's just because while they were referring to them, the video was off. You get what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Sir. And the video was off. They didn't show you the part where they made mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. If nobody makes, if IT was that smooth, nobody would be paying you seven thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars if it was that easy. Because they know it's not easy. You make mistakes, and then like that guy who tried for three days before he got out to configure now. That's how it is in the real life. That's how it is. So, so we hear more about this kind of counseling when you or people that rat monitor. Don't be deceived by the glamour part. Once you put in your own hard work, the rest is normal. You cannot know so much that what you should have done in three days, you will do it in one day. There's no shortcut. Do it how it should be done. Follow process, follow, follow procedures. So back to the original thing, I'll give you the tips and the commands that you need to help you. Don't be afraid to use them. It's part of the, of the entire game. You don't grow so big that you no longer need help from outside no you grow so big you no longer need that for out from outside then you are you are due for for promotion that that rule is too small for you now wasting your resources you need more challenges all right so that was by way of uh, is who you're here yes i'm here okay are you listening very well sir are you recording you won't permit us to record. <laughs> Are you recording in your brain? <laughs> oh, very much. Very much, uh, sir. All right. Uh, Thank you, sir. This is the counseling and the hard talk that comes before the job comes. Um, right. sir. Yeah. Sir, please, can we pay for the manual? No, you don't have to pay. I'm not taking any money from anybody on this one. Okay. Whatever you need, tell me, I'll give it to you. If it's for the manual, I'll give it to you. Don't pay anything. I'll give you the manual now. In, on the, you know, I already posted part of it on the, on the what? On, on the, the group? group. Yes. Oh, oh, unless you mean that it should come as no, I don't want to risk that. You people just remove my name and put your name. So it cannot come as a, a package. But okay. I can copy and paste in the group for you in bits. Okay. Mm. And was it under that question? Who asked if you could pay for manual? Yes, sir. Uh, so don't pay. Keep your money. Go and use your money to do some more kind of higher level training. So for the manual, the video already talked about the real thing. But for, okay, straight to the point, this is what I need to do. I have the summary. I can just copy them and paste it for you so that you can start from it. We can get so we are waiting money. for this six months training, no? <laughs> So you can't get it as PDF or as because I'm scared you remove my name as, and claim copyright ownership. 
Where is the... There's one lady, the first person I met in class. She's not here anymore. Anyway, some, some of you, from, from uh, the watching of the video, I see that some people deliberately miss class because they know that the video is there. It's there for them to catch up. And it's good. That's, where, that, that's the trend. That's where things are going. Well, that's where things are going. They are just moving with trend. So it's okay if only one person comes to class, but 100, 200 people watch the video. It's fine. They are getting the same value. Just that I know people in class, the advantage is I know you, I know, I feel you. So when opportunities do come like they become professionally, I'll remember, I'll remember names of my students. Yes. Is that exam for the six month training? Six months? Six months yes, internship? Six months. Yes. Internship with me? Yes. No, no exam. Just hard. Hard. Uh, Hard six. Okay. okay. Yes, there are certifications you can do if you want to go and do. But for okay. me, it's about okay. scolding you, you no, know, shaking you, molding you. And then you say, Ah, I didn't know you are this harsh. Why are you? And then by the time you leave, you go to the world. You must say, Okay, mm -hmm. so no exams, just practical, practical, practical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody wants to say something. Uh, how much is the training, the fee for the training? No, I'm not discussing money here. Let's finish this training. Finish this training. Everybody is happy with the training. Then you go, then you can come back. You need to... All right, so this... Uh... Yeah, Ada. Ada, are you trying to say something? Yes. I can't get a single word you say. It's all modeled up. Sorry, your, your mic. Okay. Hello, sir. So am I able to, am I still able to log on with my it's a clone system. So my password for the for the first system is still valid on my clone. Hello, sir. sir. Yeah. Am I, I have something? Yes, sir. I'm just I'm just um getting in now. And I heard you talking about um, training after whatever payment and the rest. Sir, please, can mm. you just recap for me, sir? Can, you can, just... I, can I do what? Can you just, please, let me, bring me up to speed, sir. Even if it's just one, 10 seconds. Please, Don't worry sir. about it. This, you have this on video on YouTube. You can watch it later. Okay, sir. The promise originally was I was not going to dwell on money or anything. So anything that would take me to talk about money, I don't want to talk about money. All right, so here we are. Recognize this place. This is our DC2, our secondary domain controller, right? Yes. All right, so what are we here to do? We want to create a map. XHCP. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, let's, let's first of all create the model of them all. What's the model okay. of all yeah. servers? Yeah. What's the model of all servers? ADDS. ADDS, yes. All right, so we have ADDS, this if you're already loaded. All this if you're already loaded. Okay. So mm -hmm. let us go to, I hope this works. Let's go to, okay, let's, let's look at the server. Let me minimize this. Can you see this? Yes, sir. Public yes, sir. firewall is off. It has this IP address. Huh? Have the IP address. This doesn't look like this will work. Well, let's find out. Yeah. And then there's this caution sign. Promote this server to a domain controller. Okay. It has already promoted, so hopefully it works. Okay. Let's let's go now. Let's try and do this. All right, so this is the clue. I haven't done anything yet. So I'm just starting now. So it says promote, where is it? Promote this server to the main controller. So I take that. No, before we do this, before we do this, what should we do? This is not the first thing to do. Are you sure you want to connect, cancel? Yes. 
All right. So let's reason together. I know that I do not expect you to just answer to just uh, jump at you. Now we want to make this domain controller part of our domain, part of our existing domain. We are not creating a new domain controller for a new domain. We are creating a second domain controller for the existing domain. In other words, we are bringing a third virtual machine into the domain that already has two virtual machines. So, two already. Yeah. So, what do we do? I mean, it's like a project now, a small project. So, it's up to you. What do we now do to begin? How do we begin to handle this project? At this Hello, level, it's yeah. Rename. Okay. The first for me, for me, the first thing is to add it to the first um, network. Our first, give it, assign an IP address to it that is part okay. of the other address. Okay. Online that's fine. To, um, yeah. if I, that, that's correct. For me, that's the, that's the first thing I'll do. Renaming yeah. will not make sense. You catch me. What's, what's, how is renaming vital to the project? It's just uh, like uh, finishing touches. Real thing. Okay. Is what? Uh, oh, okay. You are talking about rename because this one is D four, right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, we, we need to rename it D two. That's what you mean, okay? Because it has the yes, same sir. name. What was the name of the other one? D four. Yes, this is four. No, this is five. This is five. Okay, so this is five. There are two distinct names, okay. so we don't really need to rename. Yeah. Uh, where we. I mean, what I mean is, uh, is it, we don't need to. We need to. It's not like renaming is not like the core thing that we need to do. The core thing we need to do is what uh, was it, Madam? Madam said. So let's do that now. I wish I could just give you this table so that I just watch you do it. All right, but let me do it for you. <laughs> All right, so to do that, the best place to go would be to go to command prompt, right? Command prompt. No. What am I clicking? I I suppose to go to command prompt, sir. And to do pinging. I was supposed to ping. I was not supposed to change the address. Oh, you want the, to the IP address from here, already, right? Okay. Yes. So is this is this valid? Statically assign it. Yes, statically assign. Yeah. To assign is it, it. Yes. Oh, is this valid? Okay. You don't even know what I'm. I should, I should go and find out. Let me load the other one that I quickly find out what one. This, this is five. So like we said yesterday, the first thing we'll do is go and uh, check the existing oh. system, find out this IP address, so that we can come back in and assign the correct. All right, so how do we find out this one? IP config. Okay. Uh, The major work. It's a full time project. This, you can just do this today and understand it. It's what create a backup domain controller. All right, so from here, we can find out what the IP address is. This is uh, 192.254.100.10, right? And this one is uh, okay. 192. No, no, no. The so 160. Mm -hmm. They're not in the same family. So we do need to change IP address. All right. So you are saying we should just click there. Or which of the network card? Which network card does the uh, LAN? Ethernet. Ethernet. But there are two Ethernets here. The first, one. the first one. How do you know it's the first one? Because that's the one having host only. That's the host only adapter. And we cloned the so, system. Yeah. Where is it? I can't. I can't see it, uh, host only here. How do you when know you this? Okay, I can open it. Don't show me anything host only. If I open this. So I do. I know which of these two network adapters to configure for LAN. So if you don't, if you do not know, then you're only guessing. If you if you click one, mm -hmm. it's guessing. So how do we know for sure? Is there a way to know for sure that this is the right adapter? Because there could be four here. Hello. Before. Internet two. How do we Hello. know Internet two? No, no. I'm trying to explain something. Okay. 
So if you right click on Internet Two, okay. Uh, go to the properties. We can okay. see. No, no, not not the problem. I mean, there was a way you clicked it that showed. Yes, so we can yes. see Ethernet. It shows it's that it's a uh, NAT adapter. Okay. Yes, so definitely. So where did you see the NAT? I don't see NAT. No, I mean from the IP connectivity, internet. No, no. Okay, for you as an expert, maybe no. somebody already needs something. Well, for, you are bringing that knowledge here, but right here, we don't know. How do we know? Oh, okay. You, you know what I mean? You already knew it before you came in. Yes. But for somebody who... But I think I'm... This is the training. No. Don't expect that they will just rush through this and go to what we want to do. This is the real thing. So uh, let's, let's, let's understand what we are doing. Can you Any me? other suggestion? Yeah. I think we can still get to know which is which. Okay. Through checking the IP, which one is static IP. Mm. No, we haven't even assigned any IP address at all. Okay, so in any case, you want us to check IP, right? Check, check, check IP. Yes. yes, let's check so, the IP out. Oh, sorry. Let's check the IP. What? That, that sounds, it sounds really, if what I have in mind is what you have in mind. This one is dynamically assigned. Mm -hmm. So there's no so IP address. Yeah. So, so what the other about one this will one? Be uh, properties. Wow. 192.168. Mm -hmm. All right. So did we know from here the whole class now? Did we know from yes. yes? Did we know from here which is which? Yes. Okay, because no. you saw you saw an IP address here. Yes, yes, yes. And this IP address is for host the first adapter. One. Okay. Host adapter. I think we're back only. to this to square one again. How do you know this IP address is for host only? Because we cloned you no, know, we cloned the system and when we installed Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Should I talk again, sir? When we, when we, hold on, let, let me say something. Thank you. Mm. Uh, when we cloned the system, mm. sorry, when we um, gave assigned the IP address the first time, mm. um, there was no uh, NAT only. It was because we wanted to connect to the internet. We now no. install the other NAT adapter. When? And now we that we did first, that today. The first class. No, don't even That's assume. Class. Okay, then you are not the right person to answer the question then because you were here. Ah, let me answer this. Let the person let who was not here from the beginning, who did not remember everything okay. you are remembering now, answer. Okay. Sir, mm. basically, if you, the way I see it, mm. the static IP mm. is for the internet. It's going to interact with the internet. Is she still there? No, oh, I mean local interaction between other, the other clients. Well, the uh, other... Uh, uh, mute, your, mute yourself, to, uh. mm. Why the NAT is to interact globally? Mm. So the NAT is also is always dynamically assigned. All right, good. Good, uh, good explanation. But does the class understand that? No, sir. Uh, so that's the problem, huh? So good explanation. So I will reason like you, and by that reasoning, I know which one is LAN. So if you don't understand what, uh, who is that? Who was that? Aziz. Aziz, eh? Aziz. Let me see. Eh, who was that? Azim, Azim. Where are you? You are not on video. Yes, I'm not on video. Oh, okay. I'm trying to minimize data. Okay, so what Azim is saying. Okay, let's just go by. I wanted us to really experiment and move forward. Was, but let's let's go by. Let's use this method. So what Azim is saying is the one that has the that is dynamically assigned must be the NAT. And he has reasons, which is right. So for now, this is dynamically assigned. This is locally assigned. This is uh, assigned for, for local purpose. So this must be the Post only, post only. In any case, if you if your guess is not right, let's go ahead and configure. If it's not the right one, then you go back to the to the other one. There are just two of them. If you understand that, fine. But if you don't understand, no problem. Don't worry yourself at all because the more you try to digress to understand things now. So let's let's use uh, the method that you understand. So let's check this. Let's configure this one. 
assign IP address. So we'll say IP version four properties. We'll say it's static. Okay. So let's change it. 192.what? Or the correct one? 254. 254. Oh, sorry. 254.what? Dot hundred. One hundred. Hundred. Dot uh, ten. Okay, and so the ten. server is ten, right? The, the no. primary domain. Yes. Yes, ten. Okay, so this one should be what? Eleven or twelve? Let's leave it at twelve. Twelve is okay. So the subject mass is automatically given. Then uh, what's the gateway? Default two five four. Two five four. Dot ten. One hundred. Dot ten. All right. What about uh, our DNS server? I4. The current DNS server. 192. 254. We don't really need this, but I just put it. 254. 254. I'm using the numeric key parcel. 254.100.10. All right. All right, so that's it. If you ping now and it doesn't see it, then it makes me configure the wrong one. I'm sure we'll configure the right one because of that All right, so do you want to allow PC to be discoverable? No. I want to do it by myself so that you see, it, so that it doesn't look like Windows did the work for us. Uh, okay, so is that all we need to do? Can we ping now? What else do we need to do just to make sure they'll see each other? Firewall is on. What about for this one? Firewall is only for pinging though. No. Once you're pinging, once you're able to ping, you don't need fire, you don't need to off firewall. You can return firewall to on position so that I can do it. So it's just for you to know that uh, systems are seeing each other. So this firewall is okay, this one is on as well. You see that we don't have to come back here. Let's just off it because we already know that uh, we we'll have issues with pinging, only with pinging. All right, so turn firewall on or off. Uh, where is this? Turn off firewall. Turn off firewall for public. All right. Okay. So, what do we have there now? Firewall is off. Uh, let's leave the name at DC4. All right, so we'll just do the same thing here. Just for pinging purpose. I'm not saying you have to turn off your firewall all the time. So, turn off firewall for your domain networks. Turn off firewall for your private networks. Turn off firewall for. All right. So are we ready to pin? What about the network adapter? We assume it's okay because we are pinging, we are cloning from a good one. Right? Okay, for somebody who doesn't know, we we'll just go check the network adapter. But another way that you could have done, answer that question I was looking for, was to come here and disable now and see which of them goes up. Abby? Mm. Yes. That was a simpler one I was looking for before. Yes, yes, that can work. Obviously. Okay, so our cable is plugged and our host only adapter is in place. And our host only adapter is adapter one. So even if you do want to come, uh, remove firewall, you see that this one is adapter one. Adapter one. So you can now, oh, it is adapter one is host only, adapter two is now. So that's the answer I expected. So now you know which is which, then you can go back there and there. And then see Ethernet one, Ethernet two. All right, that's adapter one. That's main for Ethernet one. All right, so everything looks good. Is there anything I'm forgetting before we pin? If everything looks good, then we should be able to pin. Well, it gets to a level where you are so sure that everything is good, you don't even need to pin. You just know, ah, is it today I'm doing this? I've been doing it for three months, so no need to pin. I know that it's good. But because we are still new, let's just. Uh, it does to feel all right. So CMD, and then for this one as well. 
let me move it so it can all the uh where is it oh right here this is true why am i missing something what's going on here why is it not coming up i'm trying to click that thing since. This one, let me cancel. What did I click in configuring this thing yesterday? Did I click something that uh, is disturbing that thing from coming up? Okay, so what's the other way to, to load the uh, control R or something? Uh, oh. This is my virtual machine, so it will have to be from there. Do you have your virtual machine on? Hello? Yes, over here. Uh, go to, go to, wait, insert break. There's a place where you, where the commands are listed, the command combination, the key combination, that I need to use to get to this place. Look for it. I think it's under input. Not this one. I don't know why that thing. Okay, give me one second. Let me quickly reboot this thing. Sometimes when system behave like that, just restart them and then by the time they are starting, it is reversed. This one phone that is here, we're not using it, so let's close it. All right, so that system is shut down. Let's quickly go and on it. DC what? DC2. DC2. Mm. So always, always, always the work in networking is just to get the pinging right. So once the pinging is right, you are done with network. So what we're trying to do here is actually trying to network the two domain controllers together. If I don't network them and they don't see each other, then one cannot back up for the other one. How would it be transferring information from one to the other? Do you see why we're trying to connect now? Oh, this is what I was looking for, the key combination. Uh, input. So your host plus H will do this, your this plus this will do this. But uh, let me try it directly now. So that's using the key combination. Uh, control them. So I said to internet, so we can update. Is it because it requires us to update because before that? Uh, okay, go to your input. Somebody go to uh, and go to your input. Look for the key combination that I need to to bring up my search to on the virtual machine. I don't know why this is not working. Search window. We'll look for the key combination that I'll, I press on the keyboard. Let me show you now. Where's the search box? Hello, sir. Hmm? Why if you just click your Windows button and type CMD, won't it work? I will respond. All 
Ah, I don't know why this is not responding. If it does not respond, I cannot ping it. I'm just waiting for the update behind you. Is it updating? Going to install. That's going to take a long time. Promote this domain. What's this? DC2? It's not right now. How can you say promote to? There's something that's missing up here. You know what? Don't forget about that mission. Let's use another mission. Uh, let's take another mission. That mission is needed to be here. Uh, so we have a DC2. Where is this one? Come on. What mission was that? What were we, we loading? Yes. I'm confused now. DC2. This is, okay, we're loading the wrong one. DC, this is DC5, right? So DC5, yeah. our original machine is good. Is this our original machine? Which one is this? This is the original mission. Okay. So our original mission is good. So we don't have problem. I thought this was, is it good? Uh -huh. Our original mission is working fine. Uh? Yeah, we were supposed to use the clone. Oh, the report is the cloned machine. So the cloned machine is not working fine. So, we, so our original DC5, it's doing well. It's, it's doing good. So if our clone is the problem, then it means that the place that we clone from is the wrong place. So let's remove the clones. DC clones. Wrong DC clone. We shouldn't, it shouldn't be there. Remove it. So server, uh, server 1, DC 5. Uh, client one, DC two is the clone of the other one. We don't need it because it's not behaving well. So what do we do? We clone the good one that is working fine. Well, DC five is running, so we shut it down so that we can clone it. Uh, power off. And then clone it. Clone DC5 and call it DC2. Don't repeat the machine. Call, give it a new MAC address so that we can use it as a different machine. And then we'll say next and do this. Yeah, it's going to take time, but that's the only solution. We cannot continue to make a bad machine good and waste time when we can play, uh, clone a good machine. So that's the real life situation. So that wasn't a problem that we created. It's, pro it's probably a problem from the original machine. So the problem was with DC5. That's why I was with it. All right. So like I said, it's part of real life situation. Don't expect it to run smoothly. So why this one is going on, the assignment now is this. Because obviously we will not be able to finish in two hours. So this is the assignment. Let me see your faces so I can write it down. Now, this is the assignment. Do you have a, a, your regular domain controller? You have your regular domain controller, right? Yes. Whatever name you called it. So step one in the assignment, clone your domain controller. Step two. Step two, do you know that you cannot join domain controller to a domain? You can only join client. You, can, you cannot join server to a domain. You can only join client to a domain. So I will not say join it to a domain. I, can, I will only say uh, bring the your domain, con okay, call the domain controller DC1. Call the clone domain controller DC2. So that's a note. Let's put a note there before you go to step two now. Step two, 
ensure you can ping, ensure both DCs can ping each other. And that's what we're trying to do by all this work we're doing. We're just trying to ensure that they can ping. That's step two. All right, so step three, after you have ensured that they can ping each other, step three is configure DC2 as domain controller. Do you know how to configure domain controller? Just click the, the caution button that says promote. Because it will, it will already be loaded with uh, the DCP services, DNS services, and ADDS services. So I will not say load. I'll just say configure. Configure it to be a domain controller. And now this is where the difference is. The only difference you are going to encounter between configuring this one and the configuration you did earlier with the previous domain controller, this is the difference. This is where you watch out. Every other thing I've told you, you can do it. But this is where you watch out now. Now, this domain control, this new one will not allow you to configure domain controller for the domain. It's going to tell you a domain controller already exists on this domain. And there can only be one domain controller for a domain. That's the question you are going to get if you if you ping right and everything is correct. Did you get that? Yes. All right. No. So it is yes. at that point yes. now that you now say configure, you now click it to show you the option. Configure this domain controller as secondary domain controller. That's all. And then in the process is going to ask you, of course, in your own case, you are not going to have difficulty, but you had a, more than one domain controller, it's going to ask you in the next step or next two steps, which one is the primary domain controller? You now refer to your DC2 as your primary domain controller. And then the wizard will just take you and configure this second, this DC2 as your domain controller. Well, because there cannot be two domain controllers, if you call the first one primary domain controller, and call the second one secondary domain controller. So that's the only place you need to be cautious. That's the place where it, where it wants you. I cannot continue with this work because there's already a domain controller on the network. So what you say, I know, go ahead and configure this as second, oh, this one, as secondary domain controller. The rest will be easy. All right, so the clone is complete. Let's, let's see if we can quickly do what we, or even if we cannot, that's how to do it. So what we'll be doing next time would be to, so that would be configuring second, uh, secondary domain controller. Then on top of that secondary domain controller, we'll now configure a secondary DHCP and the secondary, a, sorry, we don't call it secondary, I told you before. And the, the, the we'll configure a backup DHCP and a backup DNS server. Any question? Any question? Hello? Yes, I'm right here. Any question? Do you understand what I said? The assignment I gave to you? I'm not sure I got the, the, the Touched it very much. The toast. Yes. This is two, this is um, five. The toast step will be in the pro okay. Toast step. Go ahead and configure your your uh, and promote this the DC DC two the domain controller. That's the toast step. Go ahead, promote your DC two. Domain control. So I want to have, I want to ask a question. All right, question. Maybe I missed some steps. Why do we need uh, to back up uh, DHD, uh, DNS, and D? We're putting the other DHCP. Why do we need the backup for them? Backup is always for redundancy. Redundancy means. This is a network of uh, that is producing a million dollars, a million naira or whatever for us every month or every day. You want to take the chance that 
uh, electric surge can damage your your server, and then you'll be out of business for one minute or two minutes or one day, just because you did not you did not make a backup that can quickly replace the the server if it goes down for any reason. You don't want to take that. Report. So you want to mitigate against losing your those services on the network. We want to back off so that if anything happens to the primary one and it goes down for any reason, whether due to internal error or external error or poor height or Buhari traveled, for any reason, you want to have a backup that will quickly step up and replace that one and your business will continue like nothing happened. So the interview questions will be, what would you do to mitigate against uh, loss of data or uh, your network going down? You can call it anything, disaster or anything. But well, basically means get going out of business because of uh, disaster recovery. Mm -hmm. So backup will be one of the disaster recovery measures. So anything you back up, whether it's DCP, DNS, whatever you back up is just for redundancy. That's why we need to back up. All right, questions? So you got the third step now. So by the time you are done with the third step, uh, by the time you are done with the third step, what will happen? Then just follow the wizard. The only place, it will not allow you to have, I've told you already, it will not allow you to configure the domain controller unless you intend to configure it as your second domain. That's all. Every other thing you already used to because we've done it. All right, so Oracle 5 input. Uh, the least I want to prove to you now is that our key that was not working is working now. And the reason it didn't work was because we cloned a bad system. So let me just prove that. No, no, no. I'm not focusing. The phone is distracting. Okay, machine, uh, no, input, keyboard, control or delete. Uh, what did you say? What's my password? Uh, okay, so I didn't get the password right the first time. Impute, keyboard, control, delete. So the same COVID. All right, so it's our Set working now, set is working for that one. So I set working now, set is working for this. Okay. So we are good now. We are good now. All right. So do we want to ping? You know that pinging will not work unless you have done your IP address. So no need to waste time. Let's quickly check our IP address. Uh, look at server. Uh, same thing here, local server. So what do we have here? 192254110. What do we have here? Uh, multiple. So we have to configure. Why is it doing multiple? All right, so we have to configure this anyway. From the first experience, we already we know. Okay, let's just let's let us say we know. Let's find out which one is it. The uh, machine settings. Uh, adapter one is host only. Adapter two is now. All right. So adapter one host only. So configure this. Copy this. IP version 4. Probably. It's here now, so why is it not showing this? Okay. 
Okay, so it's already configured. So why is it not showing here? Uh, is there a refresh button? Refresh will be, what do you say? Uh, local server. Okay, let's just go ahead and configure. Uh, IP version 4 properties. Use the following. What did we do? 192.254.0.0 means use myself as DNA server. Don't use any other one. That's the meaning of this. Self. Internal use me. So this is good. Uh, close. Did it not? Let's just see that it's dynamic. Uh, yeah, dynamic. Should be good. So this is how to assign IP address. What should show here? Why is it not showing here? Is it because we cloned or? Maybe maybe we'll, when we we'll restart when we we'll restart our system to come up. I think I we'll think it's because system. we cloned. Hello, sir. Uh, I think it's because we we cloned. If we change the IP address of the other one, I believe it won't show multiple again. The IP address of VC two. Yeah, that might be right. Let's change it. But uh, there are not two independent systems, though. There are two independent. The, the option okay. will. Unless we forgot to click the option, we should have clicked the option of give it a unique MAC address, a separate MAC address. I think we did that. now two independent systems. But again, I mean, you never can. Let's just, uh, let's just, uh, okay, okay. So I could remember the first one we changed the IP address. We had to reset, restart the system before the IP address come up. Okay, maybe. Uh, but just to fulfill your righteousness. <laughs> Who are these people that keep coming at this time? So let's just change this to, because the original one has the, uh, 12. Has 10 anyway. So even if this one remains 10 and it's independent, there will be conflict. Because an IP address is already 10. So you cannot, and that one is supposed to be 10. So that was conflict, actually. It was just conflict. Just restarting, that guy was right, the first guy was right. Restarting this one will resolve the conflict. With, I mean, giving this one a new IP address will exactly. resolve the conflict because 10 will not be available to assign to the first one back. And then the second one is also right. The second answer is also right because if we shut down both systems, and restart both system, then the DACP will now reassign fresh IP address, and then the conflict will be resolved. So both answers are right. But it's not just about trying and error. It's now about understanding why they are right, so you can apply that same knowledge somewhere else confidently and say, oh, I know why. So we are both right. So by the time we, now that we have an explanation, now I'm sure I know. I don't know. I'm sure that by the time we restart, we will resolve themselves. But again, it's all part of the learning. There's no, ah, this thing is taking our time. We're not doing the real thing. Whatever we meet on the way of the real thing, it becomes the real thing. We must face that. All right, so we're starting this one. Let's also start that one. And if our explanation is correct, then we have done the two possible things we can do to make them resolve. We're loading DC5 and now we're loading DC. All right, so do you understand the assignment? The assignment is for you to go ahead by yourself and create a backup, a secondary domain controller. And then on that secondary domain controller, the note that I will send to you now, I will also give you how to configure it for, how to configure that secondary domain controller to become your backup DNS as well as your backup DCP. Then after you have practiced it, then we'll do it together again tomorrow. tomorrow. There's a call I need to make this evening to find out if I'll be available tomorrow. If I'm available tomorrow, I'll paste the link and then we'll meet tomorrow otherwise. 
It may not be tomorrow. So, may I ask a question? Yes. I noticed what? that the default ga gateway, mm. we didn't input the IP address in it. Why was it empty? Okay. Default gateway? Where is it? Yes, sir. Where? Oh, okay. The, fir the first machine, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'll come to that. Let me just, uh, give me one second. Impute, you show me again. Okay, on the first machine, this is five. Is it this one? Yes, yes, this is five. Hmm. Uh, so you are saying... Uh, I'm not able to... Default gateway. At the configuration place. Let's go there. Yes, at the IP. Yeah. Okay. Uh, IP version 4 properties. Prefer DNS. Yes, the default gateway. Where's the default gateway? Okay, here. Uh, okay. But you know that yes. uh, networks, LANs do not need default gateway to operate. Default gateway will be if it was going out of the LAN to an external network. This is the route. Oh, say. yeah, that's true. So for LAN purposes, okay. if you don't input it, it will still work. Well, okay. I'm not using okay. the previous configuration to tell you that this is how it works. But in any case, we can still go ahead now, now that we're here. To say, All right, sir. you know what address to enter now? Just go ahead and enter the correct address. Yes. yes. So it's 11, but let's quickly, let's quickly show that this, uh, this, uh, this one has its own unique IP address. Yeah. All right. So, DC5 has its IP address, its original IP address back. What about the new one? This is two. Does it have an IP address now? If yes, we are making progress. Without you knowing it, we are making progress. Because these are the common issues that they will call you to come and resolve. And this, these are the things that should be on your CV to say when there's conflict in IP addressing, I know what to do to resolve them. I'm able to resolve them. And then by the time you do your own, not by watching my own, don't go and claim my experience. By the time you do your own, and then you're able to resolve, you cannot put it that you have done it before. And when they ask you, the way you say it will be different. Okay, let's find out. Um, same problem? What's going on? This time it's DC2 that has the problem. Don't worry, we must solve it. We must solve that problem. Okay, it's easy to solve. Let's let's forget this IP address dynamic. It's easy to solve since it doesn't work. Multiple IP version four addresses. IP version six DCP. Don't want IP version six. Uh, Properties. And let's do that for IP, for IP version 14. That way we'll forget everything that I knew before. Uh, where is it? Look at seven. IP version 4. Enter it. Right, right. Uh, oh, it's, it was, there was something here, but it's done. I'll find through the right place. Okay, so. Uh, what are the third type of references? I look at this, so this is for COVID. This is an a truth for COVID. COVID.com. Okay. We must solve this on the whole before I let you go. 
even however long it takes, this thing must turn. Unless we don't trust it and want to create a new IP address. And we want to create a new clone. So let's try and resolve that IP address. It has to have an IP address. So that one is shut down. Let's start it again. Let's start that one. This is it too. <laughs> All right, so this one is loading. Let's let it load. So with these issues we are having with domain control, with these uh, these challenges now. So what I would suggest you do before you promote your VM to domain controller, make a clone. It's easier to work with the clone before you installed and configured domain controller. Because all this trying to resolve issues, this one is already here and be avoided. Unless, of course, you are bold and you are confident that you can resolve whatever issue comes up. Okay, so control delete. Uh, Okay, so what IP address do you want to assign? One nine two dot two five four dot one hundred dot thirteen. Subject mark comes out automatically. You may or you may not assign that at this time. It doesn't matter. So let me quickly check this. The DNS server list is empty. Okay. Uh, let me add something to the DNS oh, because of that one. Two, five, uh, one, nine, two, dot, uh, two, five, four, dot, one hundred, dot. Since I had assigned that kind of stuff, we'll play assign. One nine two dot two five four dot one hundred dot ten. Hmm. All right, so it's done. It's seen the new IP address. So are you okay now? Hello? Yes, sir. We have resolved okay, that yes, issue. We have resolved that issue. So that's, we are doing practical. I'm glad that we're having those challenges. You know, I always warn you that if you get it so smoothly, it will not, uh, then you are not being made. <coughs> so we had those challenges and we are, these are the real challenges in the real world. They are not different. So somebody will call you and say, I've tried everything. And that's how they will pay you. If they could do it by themselves, why would they call you to come out? So I've tried everything. This thing is not, but they are not as technical as you are. And then you just go there, you try first, second, third, fourth. I think you try the fifth time to go through. So you go ahead with your assignment. So I've shown you now that those things can work. Go and build on what I have there. shown you and complete your assignment. So as we are closing now, I will copy the parts of the manual that you need to complete the assignment. And then I'll paste it for you.
Any more questions? Any more questions? No question. All right. So let me let uh, you go. No question, sir. So I'll let you Thank know you, we are holding class tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm. All right. It's, okay, it's slightly, sir. Hello, sir. It's likely we hold class. I'll let you know. Then if we hold class, we'll complete this tomorrow and then do something. All right. Yes, Anne, you were saying something. Um, so my DS5, um, the IP address is not assigned, but my clone, um, my clone is assigned. What and would I is, do in this that's, case? That's what we just did now. That's the problem we just solved here. No, my so, clone they, they is already assigned an IP address in my clone. Yeah, my clone. look at look at the one we just resolved. It's our original DC two that we just resolved now. It was on this side. Okay. That's the same issue we just resolved here. Did you just make your clone now? As we're talking. Yeah, I just finished my clone and I find out that my clone have an IP address, but my main um, DC five doesn't have an IP address. And what you are saying is the problem we had that we had. We just resolved. We'll be trying to resolve for about five, seven minutes. We just had it now. So you should be able to repeat what we just did now to resolve yeah, the I issue you have. Up, but I was confused about the two machines. So what do you want me to do now? Come to your place and help you resolve it. <laughs> so the only way is to try and keep just trying. Just watch it trying. again. So watch the video again. Wonder yeah. what did it do that I missed? Watch again, watch again, you know? You'll get it. Um, the watch it over. The good thing is we're able to do it. If I ran away now and we're not able to do it, that's when you say, ah, it doesn't know what it is. We're able to do it. Look at it right here. So as long as I was able to do it here and it's on video recorded, then you, you have no excuse not to do it. Don't call your guy when you're on the field like that. Yeah. A guy, man. As, as you are dropping the phone, they are looking for another person to replace you. Sure. All right, yes. All right, so that's it for now. We we talk or we'll do stuff tomorrow. All right, anyone? Uh, how many people were bold enough to remain? How I many are we here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Twenty. Twenty. So many uh -huh. were called. Two were chosen. <laughs> All right, no problem. Oh, that's what we watch and video again. All right, take care, everyone. We are. All right. <laughs> All right then. Bye bye, everyone. Bye, Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.